Hello, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render your footage through Real Steady and how to get the perfect GoPro settings. Now for this video I'll be using the DJI FPV as my example but this applies to any sort of uh, Real Steady footage so you can use it for skiing and other uh, sports so yeah stay tuned it's gonna be a very quick video. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to swipe down, you want to go to preferences and go into regional and turn your GPS off. I don't know why you need to turn it off, but you just do. So secondly, we'll come up with that. And then you want to go on your GoPro settings. For this, I'm just going to go on custom. So uh, you can film in 50 frames, 5.3K or whatever frame rate you want. It just has to be in 4.3. So yeah, that doesn't matter. So yeah, it has to be in 4.3, so that's fine. We'll just go for 4K at 50 uh, with that. And then wide lens, yes, that's fine. Hyper smooth, you just turn that off. Okay, and then let's have a look. Um, so when I'm flying the drone, I like to have it at 100, um, even if I'm filming at 25 frames a second. Um, yeah, so 100 frames. So you know what? Uh, you know what, that's okay, so even if I was filming at 25 frames, I would be doing that anyway. Uh, EV comp, doesn't matter. Just set your white balance to the colour of what the day is, so uh, for this one, I'm probably going to keep it at ISO max 400, ISO minimum 100. Colour flat, sharpness low. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Is that right? Yeah, easy as that. And obviously you'll need your ND filters, because as you can see, that's quite bright. And then what you do is, for the drone, you just stick it on top and start filming. Okay, so welcome back to my office where you are on my computer screen because we're way to go into real steady and render our GoPro footage. So if we have a look here, this is how the GoPro footage actually looks. So like we said at the start, we're recording it in a 4x3 format. So I'm just going to turn it down because we don't need that. So this is actually how it looks. So it's quite bumpy, it's very distorted. Um, I'm just going to wait for this to fly past me because I know it's going to be quite rocky. Yeah, it's very raw and like, um, yeah, that's unusable. So what Real Steady does is, because this is recorded in a 4x3 format, it crops it to 16x9. What it does is it looks for the best format so it can scale up or down to like where the best uh, footage is. Probably the best way I can explain it. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into Real Steady. So. This is, uh, okay, it's gone now, so yeah, uh, let's go here, and there it is, Real Steady Go. So we click on that, I'll swipe over here, and then we're going to load video, and then we go into GoPro, I know it's the four gigabyte one, so we'll click that, we're going to open. So we just let it open, okay, so we're running that, and then what you want to do is you want to click on this um, settings symbol, the gear, the plus sign, once it'll actually open, you've got to let it run first, I think. Um, I'm just rushing it. Right, so we want to take this all the way down because it, it already does a really good enough job without having to have it sky high. Um, so we're going to do that, just do that. So we'll leave all the rest, just make sure that's scaled down. So another thing you could do is you just got to wait for this to do its thing. So now, okay. Great, so now we are in the timeline. So now what we want to do is we want to cut back what we don't need. So like up to here, it's pointless footage. It's gonna take forever. I don't need all this, right? Uh, I didn't think I need all that. So 
I think it starts here. So what you want to do is, you want to find the point of where you actually start filming, right? So it's obviously here. So I'm going to pause that and I'm going to drag, yeah, there it is. I'm going to drag all the way here, right? Okay, and I'm going to do the same for the very end because I know I was messing about taking photos of the thumbnail. There's me with the goggles. Yep. <laughs> Behind the lens, right? So I think that was quite cool, yeah. So what happens here? Nah. I think we just leave that, do I? Yeah. So I'm just going to take it to about there. So the only thing this does, right, is if you were to render with these pinned all the way back to like here um, and there from the start and end points it would render the audio as well but because we're not doing that um, we're only using about is that half the video the reason about half the video it's not gonna it's not gonna render the audio so that's the way it is so then we go and save output video will not contain audio because trim handles yep like I just explained. So here we go, it is rendering. One thing about when it's rendering, um, it's quite a slow process, um, and it plays back very slowly. Um, I'm guessing that's it just processing. I don't know what the playback speed is actually. I don't know if it's like quarter of the speed or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, you've just got to be a little bit patient with it because like I said, the file size is quite big. It's 4K footage. Um, it's cropping it from a 4x3 to 16x9, as you can actually see here. Um, so, yeah, you've just got to be a little bit patient with it. Cool, so once that's rendered, um, I suppose we just have to find it now. <laughs> uh, should be in here, should be in here actually, yeah, that's it. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, no, it's that one. Okay, I don't know why there's two. Is it this one? Yeah, it's definitely that one. Okay, yeah, because that was one that I tried to do earlier on. So, yep, that's fine. So then we can uh, go and find Lookup Pro and then see where I am. And we just drag and drop her on the timeline. And there you go, you have your video. Boom. You maybe have to do these proxies and that if it's like 4K, but yeah, <laughs> that's our problem. Thanks for watching.